Hey guys, so today we're doing an unpopular opinion thread. However, I came across something really funny in a different thread and I can't help but I have to share it. So the thing is this other thread, it wouldn't make for a very good video. Um, Megan, if you could lead it out. TG draws a dungeon in paint. Go to a drawing program of your choosing. Draw a room to add to a dungeon. Try to have doorways so that other anons can do the same. Bonus points if you can tell the room was drawn badly using Microsoft Paint. Pick related is the dungeon entrance. Very good. Now let's get to what we're here for. Beyond the door, there is a dull coloured room with four colourful doors, for the ease of anyone replying. In the room, you see Megan from Nightbeardia trying to sell models with Ozzy acting as a bodyguard. <laughs> it is unclear where James ran off. Megan is trying to sell Tell you models and promises that if there isn't yet a model that appeals to your fetishes, she will make you one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, they will come in time. Look, we'll get you sorted, okay? On the right, there is a glove golem sitting in the corner. She's sad because Megan won't make a model of her because apparently you can't just be your own fetish. That's weird. <laughs> The Glove Golem also wants someone to play Pathfinder with and is willing to give you 15 gold coins and a pair of soft leather gloves if you find her some friends within the dungeon. You may buy a model from the shop for only £6. It will surely help you on your journey. You may also sell unrelated goods to Megan for £3 each, regardless of what you're selling. This is non-negotiable. Shop Rules if you buy all eight models that are for sale, including the custom one, Ozzy will join you on your journey as an ally. If you find James elsewhere in the dungeon, you may have all the models, including the custom ones, for free. This will also cause Ozzy to join you. If you win the giveaway, you gain a free model. If your thread has been used in a video, you gain a free model. And you fucking <laughs> Irish screws will still owe me for that one. <laughs> Look, okay, tell you what. Get in contact with us. You know the email address. I'm, I'm, I'll sort you out with the fetish model. How does that sound, all right? For the purpose of obtaining Ozzy as an ally, getting a free model by any means counts as buying one. And I, I just love this picture. The I think picture's this, class. The I picture. love how they have Ozzy as the Chad meme <laughs> yeah. with a little froggy hat on <laughs> and, and, a, totally. and a dummy in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they've got the, um, the Schwart. Uh, swamp got um, tools. I know. I thought I thought it was quite good. But look, let's go to the actual video, will we? Unpopular TG opinions thread. Here's some of mine. New 40k is not bad. It is bad, and that that is a straight up unpopular opinion. <laughs> right there, that's that, that's a ridiculous statement to say. Boob armor is stupid, and women can't be warriors. Furries are fine if the setting allows for it. Um, you know? No, all your opinions are bad, frankly. Um, yeah, they're they're genuinely unpopular opinions. Yeah. <laughs> you know the thing is, when you come across unpopular opinions, ninety percent of the times, like yeah, yeah, I agree with, I agree with yeah, that. These, no, yeah. unforgivable. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. Let's keep going, will we? I don't care for cash grabbing miniature war games and trading card games. Honestly, same pretty much. I know, same. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm, yeah, I know that's completely behind that. Bikini armor is stupid unless a lizard woman that already has good natural armor wears one for decoration. I mean, like you know, you guys know where you could get some of them. <laughs> yeah, women warriors are stupid, but only if they look and behave like anime sluts. They are fine as long as they are as buff and as aggressive as typical warrior men, which some women IRL are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know the thing is, Megan actually, uh, you've you've beaten quite a few of my friends at arm wrestling. Yeah, like quite more, multiple times. The only one I couldn't beat was an MMA fighter. Yeah, well, yeah that, that was the one. Do you not? Do you guys remember we showed you a clip? Oh, when yeah, we, that's the only one I couldn't beat. We're screaming at the match. Understandably. Yeah. yeah. Applying real life averages as a hard limit to what kind of character you are allowed to play is retarded. Since adventures are not average by definition. Well, I can get behind that within reason. In a world where crossbreeding between wildly different races and creatures is viable, it should be not considered strange to do so. Not every race needs to be wildly distinct and alien to be fun. Making them human plus an extra trait that influences behaviours in its own way is already enough. I mean, yes, but look, the the problem is, the problem is, it's how they're going up. How they, do they make sense in the setting? Do they have a purpose? Because I feel like a lot of the time it's like, are you just putting them in for the pure bant? Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like do they exist? things together to, be, to try and be unique and it's like, 
stop do, do you need this to exist? Yeah. You know... Combat is not really fun unless it results from or in roleplay. Yeah, I get, I get by that, honestly. Every fight that is a random encounter resolved through standard attacks and damage spells can be skipped and hand-waved if your goal is to deplete party resources. Uh, I mean, you're, you're moving the game aspect. See, yeah. this is the problem. Are you turn, is, just are, turning it into your roleplay. Is, 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 is it, are you playing a game or are you playing a... a, a is improv. It, is, is it, <laughs> it, yeah, is it improv or, or is are it you, is it a game? And that's really what you're going to... That's what I think you need to work out, what yeah. you want to do. Furries are fine if no, the setting allows it. And if they are well represented in brothels as a bar maiden. No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, you're, you're doing wrong. So well. see, see, the, see, the problem is with furries, right? I don't really like doing anything to do with furries anymore. I've done tons of videos about furries in the past, and see, at this point, it's like, how many times are they going to fuck their dog to death? How many times are they going to skin their dog to make, like, a fur suit or whatever? Yeah. And um, there's so many examples of it. I'm just. Anytime you read about them, it always gets worse. Like, you know, I wouldn't mind it so much if they were kind of like Brunies, where it was kind of just a hyper cringy fandom. Yeah. Like, Brunies, I think, are relatively harmless, harmless. for the most part, but they do give me pedo vibes. Yeah. Th- that's about it. Like, they, they give me, like, I, I, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if most Brunies were pedos, but, uh, the you know. in the comments. See. <laughs> But you get, you get where I'm coming from. You do get where I'm coming from. Uh, there's a few other ones, but I honestly can be arched arguing with a few of them points. 5th edition D&D is great. I mean, the system's not exactly bad. It's the people that it's play it. it. <laughs> you know, like the system itself, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's horrible. Because, like, you know, I've played plenty of games of 5th it's edition playable. and it's, it's fine. It's like, fine. no, it's, it's fine. But there is better stuff out there. The biggest problem is the people that play, play it. Play 5th edition. That's about it. Artwork is more important than the rules. Um, artwork, I think, Artwork's is, nice and artwork is important. I feel like artwork is more important than what a lot of people let on to yeah. be. But if the game's absolutely dog shit no one's gonna enjoy it but you have like, really pretty pictures to look at doesn't yeah. matter yeah like artwork's great so it is and it sets the tone and really sets the mood and the vibe for yeah. what type of game you're gonna be playing but if you game shit you game shit man yeah. I'm sorry yeah the DM should supply food and beverages no no the DM's running the game no for you. no wise up no Character death is generally uncreative and should be avoided as GM. I see why he said 5th edition is uh, is great. Yeah. Now, now I understand. Now, now I get where he's coming from completely. I know what 5th ha- edition hands type to this post. <laughs> Hit points are great if you treat them as representations of several various ongoing things. Doing better to describe the battle and adjusting HP to reflect the current state. No, they represent head. They yeah. represent your health. I, I know I, it's an auto green method. I know. This guy really likes 5th edition. Yeah, this guy does go like 5th edition. Um, that's, you know, look, I, look I, I get it. Hit points actually aren't a great system and they could be improved, I but know. I don't think, no. D&D is a good base to play virtually any type of game you can imagine, as long as you customise accordingly. 5th edition player, next post, guys. <laughs> let's, let's just keep going. I don't know how well. Let's just keep, keep moving. Right, you slimy, huey maggot. We has been working hard at Neckpedia to get the bestest little people that monies can buy. We got all the boys here. We got the boys, the lizard boys, uh, vampire boys, all the boys over at Neckpedia. Oh, we also got some pretty girls too. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't really make out which one's the boys and which one's the girls sometimes. <laughs> but oh, anyway, I need more money to get more darker, so get on over and order some now, you filthy pigs. Every video that we post, we're going to be giving away all of our homebrew content to one lucky winner. Every video. All you have to do to be in with a chance to win is to be subscribed, leave a comment, and like this video. And today's lucky winner is this guy. Yeah. Well done! Well done! To claim your prize, just send an email to neckbeardiacontact at gmail.com. Now let's get back to the video. Every class essentially wields magic when you get into advanced enough ability. I mean, yeah, that's why I don't like high levels. Like, honestly, yeah. after level 5, I, it kind of goes out the window. It, you know. Oh, we need to get over here. Oh, it's a good thing I've got the fly spell <laughs> and invisibility at level 5. That's great, isn't it? 
Individual women warriors are fine, but an all-female army is where I draw the line. The very concept is pants on head retarded. Unironically, yes. That, that would be my view on it. I think individual warrior women are fine, but they're very... Ex there's not many of them. Yeah. You, like, Megan, let's be serious. There's not many women no. as strong as you. No. There's just not. And to have an army of them. The other one I thought was absolutely ridiculous was... I what do you call it? I love an all-female army, though, but... Like, let's say... Well, of, Sisters no, of Battle are pretty popular. No, I'd love an all-female army, right? In, like, it's like a tabletop game, not war game, like D&D, &D, right? Yeah. But all played by guys. I'd love to see how that would turn out. It would turn into the biggest ear gay ERP set. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> That's exactly what it's going to turn into. And you know it's yeah. true. Um, you know, the worst one I, I always hated was... What do you call the, the, wee, the wee fucking dickless fellas from Game of Thrones? Unsullied? Yeah, the unsullied. That, that was a ridiculous concept of an army. I know. Men need to stop. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm sorry, but Men an army... Men need to yeah, 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 that, That's just... I, I, get, get the fuck out. Most fantasy world builders are super lazy and keep recycling the Conan the Barbarian plus Lord of the Rings hodgepodge that D&D popularises. I would like to see more South Asian and Mesoamerican inspired aesthetic. There's so many underused cultures that are an untapped goldmine for pulp fantasy. Um, yeah, I completely... Yeah. I, I, I'm completely on board with that. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, Lord of the Rings and Conan are amazing, and there's a reason why we still use them. copy them. Yeah. Let's be serious, we, like, it may as well be but copy and paste them. I would them. like to see a bit of a shake up. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, like, you know, honestly, um, th though there is one thing Chinese history is fucking boring. Did the, the Wizard of the Coast not come out and say that they're bringing out an Asian. No, they got rid of it. No, oh, so. Did they get rid of it? Oh, no. The, so it was the Oriental yeah. Express or Oriental uh, Adventures, something. and they've put, like, a trigger warning on. On it, saying like, oh, this does not represent our views now and whatever. Like, you see, this is what it gets me about them. It's like representation. Oh, uh -huh. that's cultural appropriation uh -huh. now. Do you see also Wizards put out and they said, oh, um, DMs, it's actually okay for you to role play as like people from like other races. That's actually completely fine. That's not DMs. Uh, yeah, like Wizards are coming out and saying, oh no, it's completely fine. You're not. That's not com culture. Like they're telling you it's like okay. The, what like it's okay. To... It's okay. Oh, you can. Do Suck that. my dick. See, this is like I, I. We really should do a video about about one D and D in the near future, but like. I, I, I just can be arse reading about it, if we honestly, it's fucking, it's like, you guys know it's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what else are we going to say I about know. it? I hate most pop culture conceptions of the medieval era, because it was nothing like what the actual era was like. Europe was not a depressing, dirty shit. I mean, like, it fucking was. I mean, like, have you seen Europe these days? <laughs> <laughs> it's a depressing, dirty <laughs> shit. I, I can tell you, like, we, like, we, like, where we are, we live in, like, um... We, like, Northern Ireland may as well be, like, Eastern Bloc. <laughs> of, like, it may as well be that tier for, like, East, for Western Europe. Like, it's not quite Poland, but it's still shit tier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, the Polish people come here someday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Middle East was in a golden age of scientific and artistic achievement. And China was, in many ways, more advanced than the West. Also, firearms were very much in use by the 14th century. Yeah, um, nothing he said was long. Um, that's spot on. But um, a lot of people just don't care, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, that's, that's really the fucking issue, man. Most people just don't actually give a fuck. And let's be serious, most fantasy settings may as well be like 1700s, if not later. Like, they may as well be this day and age, because everything that they can achieve can be done with magic. So it may yeah. as well be this day and age, but with like a medieval paint scheme over the top. Yeah. Let's be serious. Yeah. So this post, I don't want to read the whole thing. I just want to read one unpopular opinion. It says, anyone over the age of 15 and still plays Yu-Gi-Oh is a complete loser and is undeserving of respect. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I, I, like, honestly, if there was one of the card games I would get into, either, like, Pokemon, Magic, or Yu-Gi-Oh, I think I would go with Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. If I'd be honest with you. Yeah. Although, from what I know of the rules, it's just too much for me. Yeah. But I did really enjoy Yu Gi Oh as a child. Like, so I did I. really enjoy it. And Pokemon me and Megan did. Well. We, we, yeah, but I never got into the card game as I much. I, I watched I, I watched, watched the about anime. with my two binders full of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, weren't you just so cool? Yeah, I was. <laughs> One country per fantasy race is a stupid trope. I don't know. Like, I, we live in Northern Ireland. We know fine lately that uh, if two European Christians 
absolutely fucking hate, hate each, each other. other. <laughs> and I mean fucking hate each other. And people try and say, like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad these days. They still fucking hate each, each other. other. And, and yeah. anyone that tries to say otherwise is fucking lying to themselves. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> See, the, American Hans type that post. <laughs> The best setting are more like fairy tales or Ghibli rather than Lord of the Rings. Um, I think for adventure games, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would get behind that. For adventure games, yes, but not... Eh, just keep going. Having magic be anything other than a secretive, esoteric and horror-adjacent discipline is insanely grim. I, I do like that. I do love... I love the idea of magic being something that isn't spoken about. I, yeah. like, I like magic whenever it's not in common use yeah you know what i mean but again like you know that's i I find that's more just taste than anything half of play gurps posters are no games yes (laughs) Yes. they absolutely are like i like maybe it's because i'm an absolute uh retard to say nicely (laughs) you know what i mean uh i'm I'm like i've I've got gurps and like you know honestly i think you just need to really enjoy mathematics and need to be a bit spurgy on it to really enjoy (laughs) you you just kind of do i'm sorry guys all right who actually plays gurps i've met um i've met a couple people that actually have played gurps and they actually all say what they're spurgs aren't they no they weren't too bad no. they were actually they were actually pretty normal guys if i be honest with you but like you know i do think you need to be on the spurgy end of the spectrum to enjoy garbs and i think that it's the exact same with fourth edition mm. if i be honest with you you kind of need to be on the spectrum <laughs> to enjoy it you know guns and fantasy are the best way to do fantasy i i like firearms and fantasy and i yeah. don't even feel bad i'm not reading the last one. Oh, um so Discord users in pretty dresses are quite nice, actually. And I doubt 90% OPs are actually Discord users in pretty dresses. <laughs> I don't know, man. You can fool me. Let's just keep going, will we? Old guys of the hobby are the biggest consumers due to them trying to reinforce a way of play and system when the game and systems they played were made just for the hell of it, instead of trying to set a standard. Due to this, the old guard will die off and their way of playing, which made it enjoyable, will die with them and be replaced with what we have now. It falls in the hobbyists of the past for making the environment we have today and they shouldn't be complaining for what they created. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I think this is a good one Big, to end. Yeah. This is the one to end it on. Look, wh- why do we have 5th edition? Well, I think the reason why we have 5th edition is because... Okay, so... They wanted to stay relevant. I think 3.5, very well received. They Everyone really enjoyed it. Everyone that I know that's played 3.5, all agree. Yep, yeah, most people would argue it's probably the best yeah. edition. Up for debate, but most people would lean on that, or at least that's where most people that I know in the age group that I know yeah. would play. Um, pretty much everyone said uh, that I know, bar one person, and he... <laughs> and that's Mittens, for God's sake, and he loves, he loves Will's Horror, and, and he loves mathematics and shit, so of course he's going to be like, no, does he for... play Gerbs? No, he doesn't play Gerbs, <laughs> but he should. <laughs> uh, he's gonna, he's gonna give me grief for that. Um, and again, like you know, why, why, why did they do this with Fifth Edition? They wanted it streamlined. They wanted it straightforward. They wanted it open for people to get into. All well and good. That makes a lot of sense. I think that that was the right decision. Mm-hmm. However, what happened? Podcasts. Podcast happened, and yeah. they decided they wanted to cater to the Twitter, to the Twitter, Twitter crowd. crowd. Yeah. And what's happened to the New Age crowd? See the last like few years of books. It's just got more and more. Like I don't even want to talk about it's that. Pure uh, Megan, have you read about that um, Radiant Citadel? Do you no. want to know about the Radiant Citadel? No. I'm going to talk to you guys about the Radiant Citadel. So the Radiant Citadel is the newest fifth edition book to come out, and it so. It's it's just virtue segment in the entire thing, and it's really funny. Right, so <laughs> it's actually good because you're going to think I'm making this shit up. Like you guys, like if you guys haven't looked into the Indian Citadel, you're going to be like James. That's like schizo ram because that isn't true. It's like yes, it fucking is. Look into it yourself. So uh, the Indian Citadel, there was about a billion people that wrote it, mm-hmm. and they're all ha- people of color, of course, mm-hmm. um, and they all claim to have different ethnicities, but they're really like third or fourth generation Americans, so they're not really that <laughs> ethnicity, and they don't actually know anything about where they come from. So, so all Americans? No, so, all, so I'm not even joking, there's like five adventures that are set in like a food market, because that's all they know about is food from the culture. I am not making that up, Megan. <laughs> like, I'm not making that up. <laughs> 
Right, okay, and the other thing, so again, because none of them actually, uh, again, because 90% of them are no games, they don't even know how to write rules, they don't know how to write adventures, so again, there's like 50 billion people um, that, have, that have written this. Also, um, they, they keep it hidden that it was all done by people who call Also, white people actually died in this setting from oh, an ice they? asteroid. <laughs> I, I, I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. I, I, what, would, what would happen? What would happen if they made a book? It's like, yeah, we killed all the black people in our city. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> like, what the actual fuck? Um, I, I don't know. I don't think Fid Markets is really going to draw people in. <laughs> but again, you know, they're attracting a certain type of person. They want that Twitter user. Yeah, that they, they want that they want that Twitter user that works in like you know some bullshit Starbucks. Y- yeah, pretty much. And then they want to garp as um, teethlings. Stand outside their fucking job having a fag. Yeah. On their smoke break. Yeah. That's probably, that's a, that's yeah. a game that they want to play. Yeah. And that's why they're so against death, that's why they're so against uh. combat, that's why they're so against everything else. And I think it's more of a symptom. And again, what it is a fucking symptom. What, what but what how did this come about? How did this start? How did this progress? Well, first of all, smartphones. Let's be serious. Normie's getting on the internet was a first downfall. That was a downfall of humanity. Yeah, yeah. No, like, you know, let's be serious. You know what it's kind of like. I'm kind of. I miss the wild west of the internet. I'm buying more and more into that Presbyterianism did it wrong. Maybe the Catholics were right. Maybe not everyone is right to lead the words of God. Okay. Maybe maybe only certain people are right to lead the words of God because maybe the average human being is just not cut out. For this, and this is what happens when you get the normies on the internet. You get normies have. Re- like re- that's the end of the video. Before this becomes really controversial. <laughs> but do you get where I'm going? Do you get the yes, idea? Get it. It's all right. Don't you worry, Carlson. You think you're doing good, but you're you're all going to hell for her. <laughs> you're all going to hell for her. See anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like. Um, like I'm allowed to say that I'm a I'm persecuted minority. I'm a Catholic in, Nor- in like the most like the most Protestant part of Northern Ireland. So like you know I don't even like <laughs> I'm allowed to be that. And also in Catholic style is like minorities yeah, in America. Oh, that's double points. Oh, in America? Then. Oh, I don't know in America. There might not be anymore. There's quite a lot of Catholics because of the famine. Ah, there is all right. Well, anyway, look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I I think we touched on more topics than what we were meant to talk <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> touch on. Um. And we should really do this schizo channel. I really want to do the schizo channel. But I if... really want to do a video of just our toxic traits. Because I've got a lot of them. Yeah, we were talking about this. Megan, me and Megan both were talking about this the other night. I, I, I reckon I'd take both fellas in a fight. And Megan does too. And it's yeah. really bad. And I think, like, Megan near got into a fist fight with an old man. Not even three days ago. Yeah. Right? We were, like... We're, we're, look, we're, that's we're, dealing with kids. Like, okay, no, and like, tell the story. We'll, no. we'll tell the story and then we'll wrap up, okay? I don't even know how to explain it. Just an old man is being cheeky to my nieces so and nephews. We were looking after nieces and nephews. The bands were out. Um, for you guys that don't know. Protestant bands. Protestant bands. I know. Heresy, am I right? Um, but they're like marching. It's like army marching bands. Like, you know, that yeah. type of thing. The drums um, and stuff. Drums and bagpipes and all tin, that jazz. No, tin, tin Well, that's, nah, that's Catholic. <laughs> Flutes and all that jazz. Anyway, anyway. So we went out. We were there quite early. Um, we were all there. And some old man came and stole our spot. And then the thing was, the kids went over to and get he moved and, he, and, he, and he had like two, fucking chairs, two wee fold out chairs, so the kids couldn't get past. And so I went over and moved the chair and told the kids to go there. And the man said, "You're standing in my way." And I said, "You're stealing our spot." End off. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, "Well, we won't be able to see." And I said, "Go and move your fucking chair down, then." And he goes, oh. and I was like, "Look, I don't care what age you are. I'm not arguing with you. The kids will be standing here. Well, the kids can stand. No, they won't be." End up. <laughs> and James is like, Megan, oh, please. Man, and I'm please. like, no. If oh. the kids want to stand there, the kids can stand there. To be fair, though, he was being really cheeky the way he just, like, shoved the chair. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, And, like, when I'm talking about my kids, they're, like, six. Mm-hmm. Six, seven, eight, that mm-hmm. age group. You know what I mean? But, look, that's enough. Let's, uh, let's end the video there. You guys have heard far too much for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, we'll see you next time. Check out the models, by the way. Big to the YCs. Subscribe to. Bye. All right.